future Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar plans have been revealed. Plus, Nick Jackson makes his first public appearance since AEW All Out. And we have an update on a rumored WWE return. It's all in the wrestling news right now. Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar will headline WrestleMania 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 46. That's the big news. Thanks very much. And we're done. Right then, so that was that then. Thank you for watching. We're only I joking. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Only joking. So we have some updates on plans for Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. They are apart. And yes. I think that's important to say because I know that the rock, uh, the Brock and Roman stuff has very much run a course. I mean, where do you go from tipping up the wrestling ring, Tom? There is nowhere else to go. Under the ring? I don't know. Uh, Roman Reigns uh, plans looking ahead. According to WrestleVotes, who are chatting to Give Me Sport, uh, Triple H and co have an idea of who is going to beat Roman. This is the first time we've heard such talk in a long time. We two know... options. Two options, Tom. Who Sorry you... to cut you who off. Who are your two options? Obviously, Cody Rose when he comes back. Da, da, da. But also, Logan Paul. Oh. <laughs> With his broken legs, bless yeah. him. Uh, Wrestle Votes are saying uh, they have an idea of who's going to beat Roman. I don't know specifically if it's Cody. I don't know if it's The Rock. I don't know if it's Bray. But there's a handful of guys that they would say, all right, this makes sense for future. But, and this is the important thing, uh, WrestleVote say, I don't think it's happening anytime soon, to be honest with you. So the Roman reign is going to continue for a little while longer yet. It's very interesting as well, because obviously Roman's taken on a very much part-time schedule in respect to what he used to have mm. as his schedule. So how that's going to keep up with him being the world champion of the world and all the universe and whatnot, it's going to be interesting to see. The only one I just don't like the, the, the sound of there, of the options given by WrestleVotes to give me sport, is The Rock. We can't have The Rock coming back and beating the Tribal Chief. We can't have it. It does seem strange, doesn't yes. it? Yes. It's a strange It's a strange world where there would be people that would be more inclined for Logan Paul to beat Roman Reigns than The Rock. <laughs> At least he'll be there every mm, week. He will oh. be there, whether you like him or not. Feel he'll be there saying that. every single week. Uh, well, yeah, I, I feel like there's a finish line now drawn in, in chalk for Roman Reigns is incredible run. Over 800 days at the moment as champion. Yeah. I've, I've for the longest of time on this channel, called for like a champion to hold the belt for a long time for like a long like a, a long standing WWE champion and, and I and I've really enjoyed it I like the consistency that it has brought to the Universal Championship about that uh, had many trials and tribulations after it started and and I've, I've enjoyed it I've got no qualms about it um but there is a finish line very much in the sand this is it though it's still not getting boring for my money I know there's no. some people who are fed up with Roman Reigns being the champion but the fact they are building new storylines around the centerpiece that is Roman as the world champion obviously Sami Zayn is the most popular thing in the company at the moment I would argue mm. so the fact that building these things off the back of that and the back of Roman having that aura and that Kavorka about him I think long may it continue until the right person is ready to take it off him so it means something mm. and so it isn't just one of those journeys where it is a journey to the, the title changing hands and then there's nothing afterwards that we're seeing a bit regularly across many companies here in 2022 I would argue the journey continues Ooh. as well for Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley so they had that weird finish on Saturday where you got pinned without having your shoulders down. It's good that, isn't it? That's not how your balls and your socket joints work, <laughs> is it? When you put your arms up to go to hurt lock on someone who's on your chest, your shoulders naturally come off the mat, don't they? Mm -hmm. yeah, they do. That's how arms work. Someone's getting sacked in the morning. <laughs> You're getting sacked in the morning. Uh, Wrestling Observer Radio saying that Brock Lesnar has one more match uh, lined up with Bobby Lashley. That is the next step for Brock Lesnar. It's Brock and Bobby 3. They are at one apiece right now. Bobby getting the dub at the Rumble and uh, Roman get, and, 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 and uh, Brock getting the dub at Crown Jewel. Uh, one more to go. It was going to happen at day one originally. That was the plan, but then day one got cancelled. So consequently, so did that match. It'd be weird if that didn't. Uh, and so looking ahead to maybe the Rock, maybe I was thinking about this and I think put this in the news podcast this morning. Maybe you, ha you don't have them fight at the Royal Rumble, but you have one eliminate the other or you eliminate um... each other from the Rumble. And then you have them go for WrestleMania. Uh, Thoughts? That The fact it was supposed to be happening at day one would then suggest that it's going to now happen after when day one should have been, because mm. obviously Brock's going to pig out over Christmas, isn't he? <laughs> like we all are. He's not going to get himself in ring shit for anything before that. So what you've said there makes a lot of sense and probably is the most logical thing they could do. I like the idea of the matches off because, oh no, he just wants a big dinner. <laughs> 
<laughs> that week between Christmas and New Year, which would have been day one, a cutting period. Oh. He did the MMAs used to it, I assume. Maybe, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, maybe, maybe. It's not a bulky, it's a bulky period in my house, but it's certainly a cutting period for Brock Lesnar. Uh, Nick Jackson's popped up. He has. He's been tossing, tossing T-shirts. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> tossing T-shirts. He's been selling seashells on the seashore. <laughs> he's been tossing T-shirts at toddlers. Uh, he was at the, the LA Clippers versus the Utah Jazz NBA game. He was billed as part of AEW when he appeared at the thing. And of course, they've been running those little promo packages over the last couple of weeks with uh, the elite being sort of eviscerated from the history mm. of the uh, AEW, all these crucial moments that they've played a part of. It seems to be building towards a uh, death triangle versus elite feud because they have been taking the, the umbrage, so to speak. So mm. it looks like we're very much, you know, getting back to the, the, the elite being on the on the show. Yeah, I think that Nick Jackson uh, is now out and about in the real world once again. Uh, and also, they've been backstage a lot, as we've said. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're very close to them being back on screen. It's probably by full gear, I reckon. And I just read on a website that was called SE Scoops that uh, Nick and Matt Jackson are doing a, a signing. Uh, was it within the month? I forgot what the... the, the, the in November, yeah. Yeah, so that would have hit that their return on screen will take place before that happens, surely. They're not going to do mm. something like that before the big return, are they? Will that dilute it? I don't know. I, I would say, like, you know, uh, away from tossing T-shirts, I think that having them <laughs> having them return proper at the pay-per-view would make proper sense. I think it was a high spots virtual signing, I think it was, yeah. Mm. So there we go. In the next four weeks, it'll happen. Honest. Mm. You heard it here, maybe first. From coming back to going away, uh, Nick Aldis, who has been a big part of the, the, the research of the National Wrestling Alliance, uh, apparently done very soon. In a video that he posted on Instagram and then deleted, uh, he announced that he's given his notice to the NWA. Uh, citing differences between himself and Billy Corgan. Now, people who saw the video said that uh, Nick Aldis said that the company uh, has got so embarrassing that he can't be part of it any longer. Work your shoot, maybe? Probably. Nah. Trevor Murdoch being the champion, is he still the champion? Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it, for someone who looks like Nick Aldis to go after someone who looks like Trevor Murdoch. Mm. Nothing, it's, this is what the wrestling, you know, history would tell you. Mm. Nick Aldis got muscles, Trevor Murdoch's got muscles in different places. <laughs> in a few different places. Yeah. Just a couple of different places. Yeah, it's uh, it's an intriguing one. Uh, I know that it's it's hard to tell with where the line has been with this one. I, whatever they they get sorted, we'll keep an eye on it. One to watch in the NWA. Because it makes you wonder if he is doing the shooty there, where he would go. Who would have him? Mm. Surely the deck is full now at AEW. Yeah, I can't. I, it's, I can't see him in WWE. It's an interesting one because I don't know whether WWE would be on... I mean, I've, I've been spoke to Nick. I know Nick's up for everything and anything in terms of wrestling world uh, appearances. It'd be interested, interested to see what sort of role he would play in a WWE position or even in an AEW one. Or maybe it's part of Ring of Honor. Yeah. I could see him doing stuff as part of Ring of Honor. Yeah, that probably makes the most Possibly. sense. Possibly. Intriguing times. <laughs> uh, let's end on some updates on a possible WWE return. I heard a lot of people coming back to the company. Uh, but there's one that has said that's probably not the case. Chelsea Green, everybody. Fightful reached out to Chelsea Green, who claimed she hadn't been contacted for a return and noted that she still has NWA, WrestleCade, and other indie bookings scheduled well into March of next year. Now, but... Tom, sorry, I've cut you off so many times no, you're, in this video. You're all right. I'm doing an arsehole thing. But she, as we've seen with Scarlet and people like that, they've been allowed to honour the bookings they already have while I've signed. I guess you were going to say that yourself, weren't you? Well, no, I was, <laughs> no, I was, I was just going to add in the little detail there that the reason like she was called to deny it was because we spoke a few weeks ago, over the last week or so, about Chelsea Green rumoured to be making a comeback. Mm. This at the same time as like we've seen Emma make a return. There's conversations about Mia Yim, and it lends itself to a, a much wider school of thought for the women's division as a whole, doesn't it, Ross? Yes, it does. Triple H is apparently looking at TV-ready ladies to flesh out the women's roster and the names we mentioned there. They all fit that bill because they've all worked under Triple H in one form or the other, whether it be on the main roster back in the day or NXT back in the day as well. Mm. Tegan Knox, another name mentioned. I was, I'm, I'd love to see Tegan Knox back. Yeah. I thought she was going to rock up at, at uh, Clash at the Castle. I think it's high time she could just twatted Cora Jade with a skateboard. <laughs> Battle of the punk rockers and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Give her, take my strong hand. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Is that what rock people do? I was doing the, the too sweet me bros, but it's, oh. it's that here for rock on. Too sweet me, bro. Kids in America. You was doing too, too sweet me. Thank you. I feel filthy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have more wrestling news. <laughs> What's that on my hand? There? What is on your hand? I don't know what that is on my hand there. I'm a mucky pup. Interesting. We'll have more wrestling news throughout the day at cultaholic.com. WTF moments from Crown Jewel waiting for your eyes as well on this very YouTube channel. Please watch it. Please watch it. <laughs> Please. Please watch it.
<laughs> look at this man. Look how sad you're making him by not watching it. I'm this used to it now, Tom, is but Ross. it doesn't get any easier. It doesn't get any easier, Tom. Ross will make a YouTube video today that hopefully some people will watch for just one pound a month. You can support this man in his dreams to, to, to become a YouTube sensation. We should have started more. doing this back in 2018. <laughs> Please watch it. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Some soft music over the top. <laughs> Love you, bye. <laughs>